NBA teams are regretting these contracts. There are some decisions that we make in life and then regret later on, but when it's about the players for a basketball franchise and people are dealing in millions of dollars, any wrong or miscalculated decision to pick a player can be very regretful. Well, in this video, we're going to cover the most regretful contracts of the last offseason. It does not mean that any of these players are useless, but it's just not their season to shine, and we all know that deals like these are always made by looking at the player's past performances and stats. But the amount and the length of the contract made all the difference, and it's just about the chances that the player can't perform up to his expectations and can't take his team to their desired feet. We will see all the regretful contracts and try to analyze the deals and find out where things went wrong. Starting with Draymond Green, who earned $22,321,429 this season, has been crucial to the Golden State Warriors' success, known for his defense and playmaking. His performance is consistent with an average of 9.7 points, 5.5 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 0.4 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game. However, at over 34 years old, his peak years may be disappearing. Furthermore, with three expulsions this season and continued behavioral issues, worries regarding his future contributions arise. The Warriors, who have the league's highest payroll, are under scrutiny for Green's exorbitant compensation as the team's fifth highest paid player. Given the team's recent troubles, including a sub-500 record and a fading dynasty, the large financial commitment to Green is being questioned. As Golden State looks ahead, the value and influence of Green's contract on the team and future competitiveness are being closely scrutinized. Moving on to the next, Marvin Bagley III, who earns $12,500,000 per season, has disappointed the Detroit Pistons. Despite being the second overall choice in the 2018 draft, Bagley has suffered from consistent injuries, limiting his ability to make an impact on the floor. His season statistics, 10.7 points, 4.7 rebounds, 1 assists, 0.1 steals, and 0.6 blocks per game, are solid but not remarkable, prompting questions about whether he is worth his high contract. The Pistons' terrible season, punctuated by only two wins, raises additional worries about Bagley's total value to the organization. As Detroit attempts to rebuild and regain competitiveness, Bagley's lackluster performance and large contract offer a difficult quandary. The Pistons must examine their roster and financial obligations, making difficult judgments concerning players such as Bagley, whose performance has not met their high expectations and financial investment. On to the next, DeAndre Hunter. A biggie with the Atlanta Hawks is under fire for his massive contract worth more than $20 million per year until 2027. Hunter is 26 years old and averages 14.9 points, 4.1 rebounds, and 1.4 assists per game this season. Despite those decent numbers, the enormous expectations placed on him, including all-star status, have not been entirely satisfied. This has sparked controversy over whether his performance merits his high remuneration. Hunter's contract represents a huge financial commitment for the Hawks, and his current performance raises questions about its worth. While he has scoring potential, his total influence on the court, including defense and playmaking, falls short of what many expected when he joined. This disparity between expectations and reality puts the Hawks in a difficult situation, forcing them to choose whether Hunter's future development will be consumerate with the significant investment. Recent trade conversations involving Hunter have muddled the matter even more. The Hawks' management must weigh the potential benefits of keeping him against the ability to reallocate resources and sign players who may provide more value. Hunter's example reflects the larger difficulty that NBA teams confront when long-term financial commitments do not line up with player growth, resulting in regret over such contracts. On to the next, here comes John Collins, who makes $25,340,000 this season and is a solid forward for the Utah Jazz, averaging 14.3 points, 8.2 rebounds, 0.8 assists, 0.7 steals, and 1 blocks a game. Despite his contributions, Collins' deal as the highest paid player on the club is surprising, especially given that he isn't considered the Jazz's best player. Lori Markkinen, Walker Kessler, and Colin Sexton are commonly regarded as more important to the team's success. Collins' big deal, which increases to $26,580,000 next season and includes a player option for the same amount in 2026, 
has prompted trade speculation. The Jazz want to optimize their lineup and gain financial flexibility, and moving Collins' high salary may be a big step in that regard. As the Jazz rebuilds, Collins' contract remains a source of dispute and strategic consideration. Up next is Jalen Brown's latest contract agreement with the Boston Celtics. It's valued at $31,830,357 per season, which has ignited heated controversy. Despite his remarkable season statistics, 22.7 points, 4.8 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 1.1 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game, many doubt whether his performance merits his status as the highest paid player in NBA history. Brown is certainly an important asset for the Celtics, frequently producing all-star performances. As the Celtics' second-best player, his partnership with Jason Tatum has been critical to the team standing as one of the best in the NBA. The decision to sign Brown for the long term demonstrates the franchise's commitment to retaining its core players and continuing its pursuit of success. However, the financial consequences of Brown's contract extension have prompted worry. Critics claim that while Brown is a superb player, his salary may outweigh his total contribution to the team. The Celtics, who were under pressure to keep him in the offseason, had few options and eventually decided to offer him a large contract. In essence, the discussion revolves around the balance between Brown's on-court contributions and the large financial commitment his contract entails. While the Celtics have maintained their competitive advantage, only time will tell whether the investment in Brown will continue to pay off or become a source of regret in their financial plan. On the list, the other player that we have is Zach Levine, the Chicago Bulls' highest paid player at $40,064,220 a season, who continues to produce as an all-star shooting guard, averaging 21 points, 4.9 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 0.9 steals, and 0.2 blocks per game. Despite his scoring ability, Levine's lucrative deal has become a source of concern. While Levine is unquestionably a great asset, doubts remain regarding whether his performance deserves his high compensation. The Bulls' commitment to Levine signals high expectations, yet his contract appears disproportionate to his total contribution to the team's success. Additionally, trade speculations surrounding Levine suggest that the Bulls may be evaluating his role in the club. At 28, Levine is not a player who is likely to make a huge leap in development, causing the Bulls to consider dealing him. This evaluation highlights the rising concern that his contract may be more of a financial burden than a worthwhile investment. At last, we have Bradley Beal, making $46,741,590 this season, is an outstanding scorer and frequent all-star, but his deal with the Phoenix Suns has raised serious concerns. Beal's current season stats, 14.7 points, 3.3 rebounds, 3.2 assists, 0.7 steals, and 0.3 blocks per game, show a strong performance. However, his injury history, with no season of at least 65 games played since the 2018-19 season and only six appearances this season, casts severe doubts on his dependability and ability to remain healthy. The Suns, with the league's fourth highest payroll, are under significant financial hardship, owing mostly to Beal's enormous contract. With his pay projected to top $50 million each season through 2027, the Suns' roster flexibility is severely limited. The goal of building a dominant big three alongside Kevin Durant and Devin Booker is hampered by Beal's inability to regularly contribute. Beal's contract has emerged as the most problematic of the Suns' financial commitments. Despite Beal's injury history and unpredictable availability, the team's overall performance and strategic plans are put under tremendous strain. As the Suns strive to optimize their roster and compete for championships, Beal's contract poses a huge challenge, raising concerns about the team's long-term stability and the influence of this financial commitment on its success. Well, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for tuning into this, as we have presented the most regretful contracts that the NBA teams have made. I hope you enjoyed this video. As we move forward, we'll keep you updated with the latest videos on similar topics and ensure that you don't miss a thing from the NBA universe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Share your thoughts in the comments section and hit the bell icon to stay notified. Until next time, this is Dot Hoops signing off.